everyone. Today I'm going to make a birthday card. I'm going to be using one of my favourite collections. It's the Fly Kite Collection by October Afternoon. And the stamps that I'm using for the sentiment is this Jane script by Woodware. Um, I use this uh, selection of stamps quite a lot actually because they're really good for so many different occasions. So this is a great set to have just as a standby set. Anyway, to the card. I've already prepared my base card in craft cardstock. This is craft cardstock by Basil. I find this to be um, the best craft cardstock that I can find and get hold of um, relatively easily. And I've cut this down to a normal standard size card, um, which is 10.5 centimetres by 14.8. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using this uh, Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch, um, I think it's just called the Three Butterflies Punch, and I'm going to be using mainly the larger butterfly out of the three, and then just a, a couple of these smaller ones. So I want eight of the large butterflies, and I'm going to punch them out of a selection of these papers. You can see how much I love these papers. I've used them so much. They're really, really good. I think this pattern has to be my favourite in the whole set. It's just great. Okay, once you've got your eight butterflies punched out, you can just arrange them. And I'm doing that in uh, two lines of four. I'm just going to lay them out vaguely how I want them. Okay, next what I need to do is just cut these two smaller butterflies out of the same craft card stock as the base card. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the, the back of a post-it note to stick them down to the sticky side. Cover them in Versamarking and then hit them with some bright red embossing powder. I'm just going to heat set those. I'm just going to do that once more just to give them a nice thick coat of the embossing powder. Okay, let's tidy this away. Okay, then we can start to adhere them down to the base. And to do that, I'm going to be using these three dimensional stickers. Peel the backs off them all ready. And then go ahead and adhere these down to the base card. I'm just going to use my Tim Holtz ruler just to make sure that these are all going to be level and in line. Once I'm happy with the spacing, I can just go ahead and press them down. And then sticking the uh, top line is going to be a lot easier because I, I've got this bottom butterfly to just kind of um, line it up against. Okay, so I'm just folding these tiny um, red embossed butterflies that I created earlier. And just need to stick these down to the base card. So I'm kind of rolling a glue dot into a long thin shape so it's small enough to stick on the back of these really teeny tiny butterflies. I hope you can see that. Let me just zoom in. So there's the glue dot on the roll and I'm just rolling it just with my fingernail up into a long thin ball shape. And then you can just stick it to the back of the butterfly and it won't stick out the side. If I'd have just left it flat, you would have been able to see the glue dot here and here. Okay, next I'm going to draw a frame around them. 
this is a trick I use quite often and I just I really love the effect that you can get with this and again I'm using my Tim Holtz ruler just to make sure this frame is um, running parallel to the side of the card it just looks a bit tidier that way I'm just lightly drawing this in with the pencil because I'm going to be um, erasing this later and I'm just going to draw in the frame using my white gel pen So I'm just following that pencil line that I drew. I'm not worrying about it being too straight and perfect, as long as it's following that line approximately. And then I'm just going to add another frame line around the outside of that one. See, and that gives a really nice detailing around there, and it was super quick and easy to do. And then just to finish off the card, um, we need to put a sentiment on there. I'm just going to use my little embossing buddy. Um, I used to use a dryer sheet, um, which worked okay, but I found these at my local craft shop and I thought I'd give them a go. And they seem to work, it seems to work really well, so I think I'm going to be using it instead of the dryer sheets from now on. And I'm just using this happy birthday sentiment at the top. I'll just set that on my block. using Versamark to ink it up, stamping that there. It's just offset slightly to the right and then I'm going to use white embossing powder. I don't know if you can see but there's absolutely no white embossing powder where there shouldn't be so that embossing buddy really has worked very very well um, so I'm just going to hit that with a heat tool now to set it and as the very last step I'm just going to use my um, corner chomper on the quarter inch setting and just going around on all four corners and just round them all and that's today's card um, just to give you some idea of how versatile this design can be, I've also created this card, um, very, very similar. I've just chosen um, the heart punch instead of the butterfly punch, and I've used the happy anniversary as the sentiment instead of the birthday. So it just shows you how you can get two very, well, similar cards, but for very different occasions, um, and you can make multiples of these um, fairly quickly. So... I hope you enjoyed the cards today and I will see you next time. Bye!